time reviewers. Why did I get into acting? It's a loaded question. I, I just knew I always wanted to do something creative. My family is all really creative and I kind of tossed between writing, directing, acting, singing and sort of anything in the industry and it's taken me every other avenue to get to be an actor and I, I feel very lucky. I started at MTV hosting, then I DJed, I had a radio show, a clothing brand, three of my own shows and I, I couldn't and I had like, like literally everything you can imagine and I couldn't get an acting role and so I had to come to the States to be able to kind of shed that Ruby Rose brand persona and recreate new characters. So my first like role, role my first real acting role uh, was Orange is the New Black playing Stella and I'd been here for two years and I couldn't get a manager or an agent or even an audition and I made a short film that I created and started and wrote and it was called Break Free. And it went viral and was really, really, really well received. And I guess that's how Gen G and then Jen Houston kind of got familiar with who I was. And then they asked me to audition for Orange and the rest is history. So my manager, um, Carol Bodie, who actually produced Girl Interrupted, she, we were just going through different acting schools and acting teachers and I wanted to get back into school because I had left acting school to host MTV. And she had recommended Anthony and just said that he, you know, has a different approach to things and something that she thought that I would really um, get a lot out of. Listening has taught me to, has taught me a lot about breathing. A lot about breathing and a lot about dropping in and a lot about not worrying what you're supposed to say next or do next or how you're supposed to react. Because if you're really listening, then every single time you do a take or you're performing on stage or in one of the classes, you're going to react differently because that person that you're working alongside might change something, just the smallest fraction that's going to change something you do to the smallest fraction. But if you're not listening, you're just going to be robotic and continue to give back the same performance. <laughs> I was laughing about this before, I'm like, get a really nice, beautiful grey wall, some beautiful beauty lights for yourself, tips. No, uh, the best advice is to watch a lot of films. I mean, you know, there are days where I'll just watch like five films in a day because I just want to, and this spans like, you know, 50 years of films because you will find roles you didn't know existed, films you didn't know existed, directors that, you know, you want to work with, writers that you want to work with, and it's kind of the most fun way as well to get an education and read a lot and explore a lot. And if in my case, for instance, you, don't have a manager or an agent and you're not really sure how to go about that, then create your own content, create your own short film, you know, try and submit it to festivals. Just get involved in the film industry in any way that you can. I'm excited about having three films come out within three weeks of another. Can you imagine this press junket tour? It's gonna to be so gnarly. I sort of, ne I, I make sure that I never define myself on whatever the past film was or whatever the past acting role was because I'm too focused on making sure that everything that I do next is, is better. And I don't mean like the film is better or the director is better because everyone I've worked with has been amazing and top notch, but like the, my ability and that my performance is better. So I feel like, like a lot of actors, anytime I watch something I've done in the past, I kind of cringe because it's like by the time it comes out, you feel like you've grown so much as an actor. So I'm just looking forward to getting bigger and better at, at what I do.